Hello, I'm Jason Hatton. I'm the head of the Biology and Environmental Monitoring Unit at the European Space Agency. And today I'd like to introduce some of the research topics which have been uh, studied in biology using the ISS, which have resulted in recent research publications. And as you know, humans have been flying in space for over 50 years now, so a lot of the research that we do in biology is directed towards the biology related to human health issues. So this covers areas such as uh, immune function, cardiovascular function, bone and muscle loss. All of these things are modified quite significantly in the human body. So there's been a lot of studies done in these areas. Uh, one interesting study was actually done with uh, nematode worms, which are very simple ones, looking at the changes which occur very rapidly in the muscles of the worms. Then, of course, there's fundamental biology, understanding how gravity is perceived by biological systems. And plants are a very good model for this because plants respond very strongly to gravity. The roots grow down into the soil. The shoots grow up uh, away from, from the earth. So there's a lot of studies being done uh, by a big international team on understanding the me mechanisms of gravity perception, how gravity affects uh, plant growth. This is relevance to both agriculture and also long-term space exploration if you want to grow plants in space. Also, when we go into space, we take microbes with us, so they contaminate the, the interior of the space station. So there's been studies to look at uh, the microbial population living within the space station, also how microbes respond to the space environment, and also how we can use microbes. We have uh, a big ongoing activity uh, where, where ACE is involved called MELISSA, which is developing a closed ecological life support system. One of the experiments that will fly on the space station in the next couple of years. We'll actually uh, fly, a, uh, we'll fly a bioreactor which will uh, look at one compartment of the Melissa system using, using uh, microorganisms. And of course, talking of space exploration, uh, the next question is how do biological systems survive in the space environment? So this is of interest both for understanding how life could have spread in the solar system, maybe with, with microbes hitchhiking on meteorites, rocks ejected from impacts on one planet carrying that to another planet. Also, if you're going uh, to other planets, you don't want to contaminate them. So there's issues of planetary protection. How do you sterilize spacecraft? And then the final question, of course, is origin of life. Uh, how did the uh, molecules which form the building blocks of life uh, come into existence? And how are these processes occurring in the solar system? So as you see, we have a very broad-based program. We have a lot of results from previous experiments. We have ongoing experiments now. And we have an upcoming opportunity for, for new experiments on board of ISS through an international announcement of opportunity for life science research. We're, we're releasing right now a, uh, an international uh, announcement opportunity for, for life science research using the International Space Station with the other international uh, research partners. So uh, this is really a golden opportunity now to, to take advantage of all of what's been developed uh, for the ISS for biology uh, experimentation and propose experiments which uh, we should be able to do in a 2016-2020 time frame. So now is really a golden opportunity and uh, I, I encourage you to, uh, to take advantage of, of, of this opportunity.